What's going on, everybody? It is Matt, a.k.a. the Lumberjack Landlord. It is Friday. Thank God it is Friday. <laughs> You've been waiting for Friday? Yeah. It is not. Every day is not Saturday for me, Mike. So. <laughs> yeah. It is a good so, thing. Every day is not, Saturday. Not yet. Not yet, yeah. anyway. So we have Mike Zuber from One Rent to the Time. Mike, how is it going? I know we just did a bunch yesterday, but it's this it's, is fun, man. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I really do think that we are um, we're helping people. Yes. And uh, we... we uh, we bounce off each other pretty well. So I, I enjoy all the conversations. Yeah. I, so I much laugh, fun. I laugh so, hard. Yeah. so much fun. Eventually we'll get a show on serious radio. Yeah. There you go. That, Oh God, <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding up for the Howard Stern package. Oh, there you go. I'll take half. I'll take half. Howard Stern. I'm good. <laughs> Perfect. So first thing that I wanted to bring up today was something we talked a little bit about yesterday with the three amigos. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it, cannot be said enough. I think that people's calculators are off for what they're figuring on their rents. And we know that that's what gives you the return. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk, kind of talk through that with you a little bit, talk through kind of what you're seeing for rents in your area, what you're hearing from students, because you're really plugged in on this. So what do you see, my man? Yeah. So I think there's a couple of things going on right now with rents. Uh, there is a clear divide between apartments and houses, mm -hmm. right? Sure. They're both, they're all going up. Just one <laughs> yes. is, one is stupid and one is just crazy. If that sure. makes any sense. Right. Yeah. So apartments are going up in my market. You know, it's, it's, it's eight, 10%, which by the way, is something I've never seen in, in 20 years. Mm -hmm. It's higher than I'm used to just to be clear. Uh, so that is pretty good when you own a lot of units, 8%, not bad, but deal. houses, houses, it is not uncommon in my market or one of my students to say between tenant A leaving, cleaning, turnover, new tenant, right? New tenant yeah. to see rents exceed 20%. Yeah. I mean, it used to be like a one-off, like where you took a dump and you really cleaned it up. It's like a, a you know, a three-week remodel and like everything changed. It's almost a new house. That's when you used to get 20%, 25%. Sure. Now, I mean, I've had a couple of units where I did light cleanings, light cleanings, meaning under two grand. Yeah. And we've seen a 20, 25, I've seen 30% rent bumps, tenant to tenant. So that's what tenant A leaving, it's vacant, new tenant moving in. Houses are, again, I used to say this a lot and I got tired of saying it, space is good. What did this crisis teach us? We want space. Uh, my kids are at home. I need a you know, space for a gym. I need my office. I need a place for the dog. Houses. And again, I mean, houses in my market, like 2019, three bedroom, two bath might get like 14, 50, 13 to, 13 to 1500, depending on the area and age of home and stuff like that. Now they're all over two grand. It's like, yeah, oh my God. What? Yeah. And again, this is, this is the, the point here is if we are repeating the 1970s, which clearly I think we are, mm -hmm. um, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Rents go up over a hundred percent in a decade. That's crazy to think about, but it's all because of wages. And people think people hear me talk about rent, and you don't realize what's really going on is everybody's wages are going up. Sure. And then when wages go up, we live in a consumer-based economy, and people live on credit and all these other things. They just compete for a scarce asset. Affordable housing is scarce. That's we right. don't have enough. So when you raise income, more people compete for scarce housing which increases property values, a la the 16% we talked about yesterday. But right behind it, about six month to nine month delay, yep. rents explode. Yep. Because the people that get priced out as the market goes up to buy become the best qualified renters. It's an, it's an unfortunate cycle. Um, and I wish I would tell you, I wish I could tell you it would stop. It right. doesn't feel like it's going to stop. Yeah. So, I mean, this was the reason I brought it up yesterday. Also, you know, why I wanted to kind of revisit it today is, so I have three units um, that were rented out last year. Um, they were rented out in August of 20. And now in September of 21, they've all rented. Mm. Um, the three were, one was a one, and this is an apartment. It okay. was a one bedroom, one bath. Um, and that rented previously for 770. Okay. The new rent is 1200. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. And then, um, the other one was, uh, and you're having no, I mean, demand is through the roof, right? I mean, you're getting roof. multiple applications and all the time. 
Oh, we, M- Mike, for, for this unit that I'm just about to tell you, for, so 1095, it was what the old rent was. Mm-hmm. This is a one bedroom, again, one bedroom, one bath, a little wow. bit larger of a one bedroom, but it's the third floor in a six unit. Okay. Okay. 1095 was what it used to rent for. It's now rented for 1425 because they had low 700s credit score. Uh-huh. We asked, what more could you do for us to consider you over the others? They said, we'll write a rent check six months in advance. Wow. I got six months of rent up front plus security deposit. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> this is not going to slow down. Wages are going to go up. Rents are going to go up. Property values are going to go up. This inflation thing is just starting. Mike, that's almost 10 grand for those of I you know. keeping up at home. I know. That's almost 10 grand. It was just under 10. It was actually- no, It's it a one over, bedroom. <laughs> it was ju- Yeah, it's a one bedroom. It was just over 10,000 bucks. Oh my they paid God. six months in advance plus security deposit. It was just over 10,000 bucks. I mean, what the what? And, yeah. then, and then there was a, then my final one, that one was 1,300. That one rented out for 1,595. And we got, uh, that was a two bedroom. And we, we got um, seven, 740 and 770 were the credit scores. Wow. Yeah, it's, we have a housing problem. Right. There's not yeah. enough inventory. Yeah. The... For anybody in any government that's watching, we told you so. We yeah, exactly. You. We told <laughs> Go you. Go back and watch. What, yeah. We told you this is what was going to happen. Uh, we are not idiots. We're not going to rent at under market just because, because we don't, we know that increases are coming for us across the board. Taxes, oh yeah. water, Taxes. sewer, all that stuff is coming. Oh yeah. That's Especially right. in New Hampshire, because that's where they make their money is on property taxes. So yeah. we get that. We don't have a sales tax. We don't have an income tax. We make up for it on the property side. Fine. Yep. But we told people, and the worst problem is, is that the applications to housing are up like 300%. Yeah, that's what, so that's a, this is a big deal, right? Let's start, Section 8 housing, housing assistance, housing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm a huge supporter of, and my entire portfolio could go that direction and I would be okay with it. Yeah. Right. So again, right. It, yeah, um, that program's in trouble. It and is. It's because uh, we have a supply problem. Yep. Not enough units. Right. Uh, we are clearly increasing demand for people that qualify and need it. And oh, by the way, uh, I believe in the next $3.5 trillion package, they're going to double the dollars in yes. the program it doesn't fix the unit problem. Uh-uh. We, 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 have a, we have a situation where government is pouring gasoline on demand. That's right. And there's no supply. So well, it's, I, it's a problem. I think what we're going to find is I think it's going to end up having the same type of issue that college loans do. So uh-huh. I identified this probably about 20 years ago. And I said to my friends that were going to school and I was like, how, what is it? that a university can raise its yearly tuition between seven and 11%. Mm-hmm. And the more work I did, the more I looked at it. And I said, I know exactly why they can, because the government's a bunch of idiots and they'll pay it. Yeah, exactly. It's all government loans. Yeah. And so with a majority of that stuff being government loans, the problem that you have is that you then have people mortgaging their entire future to get finished on their senior year. On their senior year, they can't find a lender. And now that's happening on their senior year. They can't find a letter. I had one friend that actually went to school their first year. I want to say was like 51 or something. And their oh. last, yeah, 51 grand was their first year. Mike, their last year was 67. Yeah. Yeah. What is going a, on? There's the colleges are a for-profit entity and uh, yeah. they realize there's a lot of cheap money. And frankly, my generation, um, uh, we were taught to go to school, get a good job. Yeah. And we bought that stuff. Her the fact I just did a we I just did on my daily show uh talking about decade or generations. Yeah. Gen X, which is the generation I am in. Yep. I I, I think it was $147,000 in debt, not including mortgages. Ooh. And 43000 of that is still student loans. People in my generation have been out of school for 20 years. Yeah. 
and we still yeah. owe 43k that is a problem yeah. there is a problem with student loans yeah you're gen x right you're gen x yeah yeah so i'm i think i'm the one of the i think i'm the last or next to last year of gen x it's okay pretty close 45 i thought you were a millennial you just smell like a millennial <laughs> screw you mike <laughs> <laughs> Want to see, uh, want to get a millennial motivated? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I look at it and it's, and to your point, exactly. Like I still have people that I know in their forties that are still finalizing and paying off school debt. And they haven't had a job in that specialty ever. Yeah, that's the problem. We, the people that already have school debt, it's, th that's one thing to work on, but we've really got to help people in high school, right? Yes, yes. You know, for me, the big thing, again, so I went to a great high school uh, mm -hmm. um, and I think I was like, like, I think there were two or 3% of us that didn't take the SATs, right? Which it, it, when I was graduating, you took the SATs to get into college, right? Sure, sure. And I went to this fancy private school and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I had no, I mean, nobody in my household ever went to college. So I, I didn't think it was an option. So then I, I graduate high school, I go to a junior college, then I get married and all this other stuff. But I go to a junior college and I take some of the most influential classes I've ever taken at a junior college. It was like four bucks a unit or eight bucks a unit or something, which I had to pay for. Right. And then I auto transfer into the best university I can for the last two years. Yeah. That's how, that's how I get my degree. So I had two years of debt. I, didn't then, debt. I couldn't afford it. Same, I mean, honestly, we do the same thing with Ashley. Ashley's a nurse. She did two years in uh, two years in community college. And then she ended up actually finishing, um, she finished her bachelor's of science in nursing mm -hmm. um, in, in, a, uh, in a state school, way, mm -hmm. it, way it went. And it was honestly, it was the least expensive. It, all in, I think we were just over 20 grand. Yeah. And she was a nurse, a full-fledged BSN nurse. Yeah. Making in, yeah. 50 to 60,000 bucks starting. Yeah. Like, be smart. Be smart about it because it's affecting yeah. us. So any other thoughts on rent a palooza and how nuts this is getting and how much more worse it's going to get? It's it, this is going to be, I mean, again, folks, sometimes we just have to look back at history. 1970s yes. is a long time for a lot of people watching this. A lot of you weren't even born then. A lot of you were born, but you were too young to remember. Mm -hmm. Go back and look at it. It's, it's pretty telling what we may be in, in, in front of us. So pretty crazy tell us where they can look for that one yes i have created a 50-year spreadsheet it took me more than a, a day of my life 24 <laughs> hours in total i have added it to my free course because it is that valuable uh it is called in a section called bonus sections uh if you are a member of my paid course it is of course in there as well in a bonus section yeah it's all there i give it away man this stuff is so valuable just it sign is. up teachable go get it it's right there so Happy agrees or something. Yeah, happy agrees. agrees yeah. 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 One of them <laughs> They're playing behind me. Mike, tell us where we can find you, my man. One rental at a time. Go to your Google search bar and type that in. You should see a book, a YouTube channel, and a website. And the second book. And if you're at all on the fence about real estate investing, not sure that you can do it like I did, not sure you can do it like Mike did. Mike just came out with an awesome new book. It's 15 stories. There it is. Ironic. He would have a copy of that standing by. I got two hard copies, man. I didn't, I got hard copy books, man. It's crazy. Amazing. Amazing. It's crazy. But that book is 15 millionaire stories mm -hmm. about how they got successful in real estate. So if you can't identify with me, you can't identify with Mike. There's 15 other stories in there that you can probably identify with one of them and constantly yeah. be pulling knowledge from it. Also yep. encouragement from it because yeah. it wasn't easy for any of those 15. They no, all did it differently. All. The one common thread, Mike, is that it wasn't easy for any of them. No, they all struggled at the beginning. It all every, sucks in the beginning. Every single one. This sucks in the beginning. Way it goes. Just yeah, the exactly. way it goes. Just hold on. <laughs> that, that's why the book was written. This, if I can get a couple more people to hold on for the first three or four years, life right. gets good. That's right. Mike, as always, thanks so much for the time. Guys, we spent a ton of time creating awesome content for you. So please subscribe. Hit the like button. This will also be on One Rental at a Time over the course of the weekend. And 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, we will do Real Estate Palooza where we usually go about three hours or so just answering people's questions and filling them full of the knowledge that we have gained over 20 years of experience. Man, we're old. We're so old. <laughs> we're so old. I mean, the good news is, is I don't look nearly as old as I feel. <laughs> so hey, I'm, a, a I'm afraid I look as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old guy.
We'll we'll leave that for people to ask which one of us is most attractive again. No, don't do that. <laughs> I hate losing. <laughs> um, I got my bronze polish ready every time. <laughs> I know. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Talk to you in a second too.